What's happening? I'm Jeff Cordo, your All American Legends, and I tell you, I'm around the country, around the world, I give you the beans. I like to give you the business. You know, I like my cars, my guitars, my jerseys, and, you know, this happened kind of like my, it has to do with something like my jersey collection, but um, I ordered these uh, shorts, these college basketball shorts from 199.com. And 199 are known to make uh, retro throwbacks of uh, a lot of shorts from the basketball teams from the 70s, 80s, 90s, and also t shirts. They do a pretty good job, I think. Uh, but I ordered these, and I'm a huge University of Illinois fan. The Fighting Illini, I like them a lot. And I decided to get these shorts from the 88 89 Flying Illini basketball team. This team went to the Final Four. They were coached by the great Lou Henson. They got beat in the Final Four game against Michigan. Uh, Sean Higgins ended up pushing, I think, uh, Nick Anderson off the end, getting a rebound, putting it in. They ended up beating the uh, Illini. But during the season, Illinois, Illinois, the Illini team that year, the Flying Illini, 88-89, they might be one of the greatest teams of all time to have never won the championship. I'm serious. If you watch some old clips of Kenny Battle, Nick Anderson, Lowell Hamilton, Steve Bardo, um, Kendall Gill, those guys, they call them the, Dick Vitale called them the Flying Illini for, for, for that reason because they were always flying those dunks. They played in the assembly hall. That thing, it looks like a spaceship. It's pretty cool. It was built in the 60s. But enough about that business. Let's check out the shorts. Um, they came out with uh, a couple different editions. The $70 versions, they came out that, from that year um, in this uh, 199 series. Uh, $70 came out with the white and the orange back in uh, 1989, Illinois. Brought the orange jerseys and shorts out. But the ones for 199 for $70 are the sublimated versions. These aren't the 199 version, but I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about the sublimated business. Back about 20 years ago, uh, Nike made these, they started making these shorts cheaper to save money, that sublimated business, how everything's just printed on. You know, it's like paper thin. And I think that's how the 70 and $80 versions from 199 are. But I paid the 115 for the Legacy Series. They're supposed to be a little bit better quality. I'm gonna pull these bad boys out. Here we go. And it comes in the Legacy Series come with a nice bag. Uh, come with this nice bag to keep them in. And here we go, folks. And these things are heavy. I mean, these bad boys are heavy. They really are. And these are from the 1988-89 season, even though they wore blue and white uh, during the 70s and 80s. But it says in the Legacy Series, Legacy Collection, 88-89, Hardwood Classic, or XL. And this is this is nice quality here, kind of like they used to make. Nice quality. Um, the, the 70s and 80s, they had that, I forget, what was it called, sand net? Um, the holes were a little bit bigger back then. And what I mean is I bought these shorts because they looked like the line eye shorts about 20 years ago that made by Champion. And they had this kind of this hole, the big, a little bit bigger holes compared to the smaller holes. You can tell the difference. So I don't know. I'd have to contact Kenny Battle, Nick Anderson, uh, contact those boys, and Steve Bardo, and say, hey, were the holes different? I, don't, I think they were probably more like the bigger holes. So yeah, but overall these things are pretty heavy. I mean, this short's pretty heavy, but what makes them great is the piping. They're not sublimated, they're actually stitched on, and it comes with the Chief. Yeah, the Chief, that was the retired mascot. I love the Chief. One of the greatest logos ever of all time, but they got rid of the mascot, I think in 07, 08, because it offended three people in the country. So they got rid of that. Maybe they'll bring it back someday. I mean, what a majestic logo that is. At half times the game, Chief would come the center uh, football and basketball games. Chief would come to the center of the field. He would put his arms up and uh, the crowd would sing to him. Then he'd do a dance and the people paid homage to him. They weren't making fun of him. They are paying homage. They, they loved the Chief. They paid tribute. But yeah, and I mean, but the thing is, ah, this thing is like printed on. And uh, I don't know if the originals was like stitched on. But honestly, if you buy these bad boys, you might want to um, actually turn them inside out and put them in like a... Uh, a sweater bag when washing them because I don't think this thing will take it. This might get all that uh, dinged up and stuff. But yeah, I'm looking at the piping. I mean, look at the quality's pretty good. Pretty good here. Um, I mean, it's all right, you know, the stitching. I mean, what can you expect? I'm sure they were made from the hardest working uh, four year old uh, Chinese kid. I don't know. But yeah, I mean, you can find something uh, wrong with anything. You really can. But yeah, overall, I mean, the quality's pretty good. It's pretty good. Like I said, these are 115 bucks, but if you sign up, I think you sign up on their email list, I think they'll give you 10% off your order, so that'll knock off a few bucks. They'll knock off a few bucks, but overall, they're nice, they're heavy. Yeah, I mean, they're not bad at all. So these are the shorts, and they, um, 
a lot of people say, I mean, these are the baggy ones. A lot of people say the, uh, the Chris Weber, uh, Jalen Rose, Michigan brought the baggy shorts. Wrong, folks. It was that 88, 89 flying Illini. They're the ones who brought in these baggy shorts. True story. But I tell you, that's all I got for you, folks. Uh, check them out, 199.com. They have all kinds of different teams, but these are the Illini shorts. Check them out. We'll see you next time. Please like and subscribe. Bye now.